Hey guys, so I stuffed up, wasted some money, bought something I shouldn't have. Now it's arrived, and I remembered I brought it because I brought it a long time ago online, one of those crowdfunding type ventures. And maybe the advertising was good. I mean, they've got a great YouTube video. Check this out. Thousands of images in its database to suggest good settings. Next, it fine tunes the suggestions by analyzing 18 different factors. Arsenal uses state of the art features I mean. to help you take a great photo in any condition. I don't know. Let's go check it out. So I was talking about this thing here, the Arsenal, which is the um, intelligent camera assistant. So what we'll do, we're in Christchurch, it's a beautiful day, probably not a nice day to take photos, a little bit too bright. We'll go out and find somewhere to test this thing out on site. I think there's a cliff up by a beach somewhere, haven't been there, so go check it out, see you there. All right, let's go. I think I've found a spot. Let's go find somewhere to set up a camera and try out this arsenal thing. Look at this. What's that? There's flowers in the middle of the paddock. Just go down the end of here somewhere. This looks like a cool little spot. I hope the farmer doesn't mind. His gate was open. There's a couple of gates open. Looks like there's a looks like a walking track here for the public, so um, I don't think I'm trespassing. Wow. Look at that. Just got to try and find a composition here that can encompass all these nice pink flowers and then somehow get all all of that nice green down there as well the water but i don't want to be pointing down too much because the sky's quite you know some good clouds up there as well you know something like this could look all right right guys so i've just found a spot nothing nothing to write home about um beautiful scenery but it's just not the day for photos and I'm actually running late. I need to get out of here in about 20 minutes because I've got to get back to the airport and fly home. So I'm just going to plug the arsenal into the side of the camera. I'm just going to let it dangle because I've got the microphone on top. I'm going to open up my phone app. I'll record the screen. We'll look at some of the, some of the features, take some photos, and then we'll go back to uh, go back to the office and we'll have a look at some of the results. And I'll finish the video from there.
so I've just got back from Christchurch and I've pulled the memory cards out of my camera trying to check out the photos that we took on the Arsenal and to my surprise I cannot find any photos so I've looked through my phone and the memory cache all of that sort of stuff and I just can't find these photos for some reason they haven't saved it took about um, 10, or, 10 or so photos plus the exposure bracketing and focus stacking blended together I've been through every single memory card, all the folders, inputted them all to the computer, checked them in the camera again. Um, I've plugged the arsenal back in to try and find them and they're just not there. So I'm sorry guys, I haven't got any photos to review. I was hoping to put them up, process them and see what they came out like. The ones that I looked at on the phone while we were taking, they seemed very sharp, seemed to do the focus stacking well and the exposure bracketing. Um, my biggest complaint was how long it was taking. It's, it's kind of, it was kind of like just having my camera on auto mode but it was super slow. I mean, things took, I mean, it took like 20 minutes, 20 minutes. We've just watched the video, that was sped up 600% and it was still taking ages. I think I probably spent about 20 minutes there out on site just to take one set of focus stacked photos and one set of three exposure bracketing. In my review, I can do that a lot quicker and easier in the camera and I can be guaranteed I'm gonna get the shot on my memory cards. I wouldn't waste the money, I wouldn't spend it on this. Um, you're better off watching a few YouTube videos and some lessons on focus stacking, things like that. I don't really find any other features that beneficial, but all the manual stuff, you need to learn to do that inside your camera. Um, the time-lapse mode, I use a remote or intervalometer, that's much easier. I don't think I'd use this again, I'll just leave it out of my camera bag. It seemed to be a lot more difficult to get the shot that I wanted, and at the end of the day here, I still haven't got the shot. So guys, don't go out and um, pre-order any of these things, I don't think it's worth it. Right guys, this is my first YouTube video, my first upload. Plan to make many more of these, a lot of tutorials, a lot of testing out of different gear, things like that. So if you like this, please subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll look forward to seeing some more videos soon. Cheers guys, thanks. So what do you think of my first video? Cringy.